I'm working through some of the accessory feet that came with the Singer Confidence Quilter Model 7469Q. And we just finished doing a blind hem with stitch number 06. And I'm gonna go ahead and touch the little foot uh, behind it to remove it, because this time we're gonna talk about the zipper foot. Now the zipper foot, as you'll notice, has two sides to it. There's a left side and a right side. So depending on which side of the zipper you're sewing with, and we'll wanna make sure we go back to just a straight stitch center needle position. Nothing changes there. But if I'm applying a zipper to the edge of my fabric, maybe I'm doing a bag or um, a garment, I am seeing that my zipper right side down is gonna have my foot guided to the right of the zipper teeth. So I can see that I'm gonna to want to attach this foot so that will allow that stitch to be where I want it to be. If I was going down the opposite side, I might flip this, the foot over to the other side, or I can just turn my fabric to then come down from the opposite direction. So it's actually quite nice. Now, if you need to, you still can move your needle position uh, to the side. So if you find yourself needing to be a little closer to the zipper teeth, use this guide here to move it once you have the foot on and if you feel like you need to snug it up a little bit more or move it a little bit the other direction. Now I've moved this so I want it kind of back to where I am. The easiest way is just to pick another stitch and then come back to it and I'll put the needle back to the center. So now that you're seeing it a little bit more close up you can see why I'm talking about putting my foot attached to the left side. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lower it down until it clicks in place and then move back to the beginning for where I wanna start. As I lower this down, you're gonna see the foot is gonna be guided beside the zipper teeth. That's the goal as we stitch it down. And you do notice that I have a super long zipper. I'm a fan of longer zippers than necessary. That means I can always cut them to the length that I need. And then I'm not always having to run to the store every time that it says I need a size a uh, seven inch zipper or a 12 inch zipper or something. I just get big zippers and then I always have the right size. So let's just go ahead and stitch. You will find that once you do a couple zippers, you aren't as uh, uh, afraid of them so much that they really are easy to apply. They're, they're all usually straight. And these days directions by designers have become a lot easier. Uh, photos or even videos have helped knowing how to apply them to a particular part. So here's the first step. Zippers are usually done in two parts. First, to apply them down, this was right sides together. Then as you come over to open them up, then possibly a little press at your iron, and then we'll top stitch this down. So here's where if you decide to uh, come down the same direction, that my needle is not on the side where it needs to be. So I'm gonna switch the foot around or I could come this way and come from the bottom up. And that would be the case only if this is not a really big piece of fabric. So I don't wanna like do it if there's lots of fabric. It's kind of inside my machine. Definitely take the time to switch over, which I'm going to do just so you can see that it's actually not hard. Just go ahead, remove the foot, and then lower it down on the right side. And again, just get it to click in place and look how simple we are. We are already lined up to come back and do that nice little top stitching. I mentioned ironing this down that will also make it so it's very easy to uh, guide and you have a perfect top stitch result. So that's a very quick way of using a zippered foot in the Singer Confidence Quilter machine. Make sure you check out all of our videos that are listed below that we have for this particular model and you can see how much you can do with this very easy to use machine.